Do you like what you see? Well, continue watching, because we're about to go in deep. Hey guys, this is Global Commentary, and I just want to start off by saying I want to apologize, guys, for what I get, did to you guys in the last um, Role Models video. Um, it wasn't right to have all those guys on that video, and I want to make it up to you guys by showcasing a lady that's a real role model, guys. You know, a lady that really caught my eye, my Jap's eye, that is, and really enchanted it um, in ways that I didn't think was possible, guys. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into this video and review the stunning Miss Anabea Galeno, or Galeno, however you say it, but I don't think words can describe what she's about to show you. So without any further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, Anabella is, Anabella is in her cowgirl outfit, and I'm t definitely telling you guys that she's in great shape. As you can see that she's got the saddle there, and she's pointing out to it, as, um, and she probably will end up mounting it later on. But as you can also see, guys, Anna, Anabella, she does have, or Annabella, however you want to say it, she does have an OF guys, so if you guys really need to, you know, strengthen those forearms and those wrists and really want to make sure that your, you know, your cardiovascular um, endurance is increased, then by all means guys, make sure. She's also got all of her, um, you know, her particular social media sites on there as well, just for you to have a look at. Um, for all those guys who are astute, um, you know, observers, you can tell by the angle of the camera that, um, well, on, before they, um, they did the, the wide shot, but when they had the close-up shot, you can definitely see from the camera, there we go, with that close-up shot right over there, you can definitely tell that she's got one hell of a future behind her, as the wide shot's kind of ruining it. And Annabelle isn't really showing us exactly what she's made of, but she's definitely top-heavy, and she's definitely got a great um, top set of assets, but also she's got one hell of a future behind her, guys, as you can tell um, with her intro video coming in. Just giving you a, a brief look at what Annabelle's got to offer, and you can kind of see her toe um, if you look very closely. As we get back into Annabella really putting on and just making sure her cowgirl hat is on properly as she's got the hands on the hips kind of like the old standard you know wonder woman outfit as she's slowly showcasing to us the um the lingerie that she's got on as she turns around kind of giving you the whole wild wild west type of vibe and as you can tell this is a lady that definitely spends her time um doing squats guys and you cannot stress that enough as she gives you that little wink that inviting little wink to kind of entice you to kind of search and look a little bit deeper as the cameraman is doing an amazing job capturing the best angles probably one of the best cameraman i've seen um, in all the videos i've generally done i'm not a fan of the cutaway scenes too much as they really do take away from the fact that she's got um, weird we have to acknowledge that annabelle's got quite a bit to offer interesting choice for short shorts um but i'm not arguing with her approach whatsoever that, because i can understand that um, she's gonna need to wear something that protects her thighs you know because there's no point in having thighs that are like worn out when you're on the top of a saddle you know the thing is is that you can also tell that she's having some difficulty trying to get it on and that does happen to ladies who have a hard time um who've definitely spent quite a bit of time squatting she does look a little bit impressed she's got that cheeky little smile she knows that she's doing something right and we know she's doing something right as well she kind of tries to adjust her outfit a little bit i'm pretty sure we'd definitely love to go to get in there and give her that support that she needs because sometimes it's not easy to put on an outfit of that nature you know and you do need help then i'm pretty sure all of us guys out there would definitely love to help her out she kind of gives a look back again the white shot isn't really doing us any favors the saddle is in the front but that saddle is going to be getting quite a workout as the camera as she turns around and gives us something to look at and i'm pretty sure that um if you're watching at home that you definitely do appreciate um annabella's efforts um or annabella's efforts as she looks up she's definitely grabbing her the rim of that hat she turns around there's a lot of personality in the way that she shows herself off. Um, you can tell with these South American girls, and I've always said this, for guys, but I'll always say it again, that um, uh, South American women are one of my favorites. And um, you'll begin to understand why, uh, um, especially with the way Annabelle is um, showing herself off as she kind of bends over in front of that saddle. And I'm pretty sure that um, there's plenty of guys out there who would wish they could be that saddle, you know what I mean? And you'd probably have be hoping that Annabelle would be willing to stick out in a type of outcrop, or a rocky outcrop that's pointing out from that um, saddle, um, you know what I mean? Kind of like one of those old school glory hole type of vids, you know? As they say back in the day. Um, but, you know, those are the type of things that dreams are made of, guys, and we can't always get what we want in a particular situation like this, but we can only imagine and admire, and that's exactly what I'm doing. She tries on another outfit, now she's making her way through quite a few of these, slowly. And she kicks that one off, and um, definitely liking the urgency because she wants to get onto the next one. And she's trying to point out that with that one gone out of the way, there's standard, you know, short shorts, the denim ones that you'd usually see from those girls out in those Coachella events and various other musical events, you know what I mean? Uh, the ones that always indicate that they're ready for and pretty and happy for a good time, you know? As Annabella slowly puts on the American one. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a fan of this lady when she definitely tries, you know, especially when she tries to put things on, because you can see her taking that deep breath as she's trying to pull, pull it all the way up. And that must be hard. The mirror is doing an amazing job, guys, if you're observing. She's having quite a bit of difficulty. I'm pretty sure if we were there, we'd definitely make sure that we'd have her, you know, we'd definitely be able to pull it up for her, as the cameraman does an amazing job of making sure he gets in there. Because we really want to diagnose the problem with that particular set of pants, because the last thing we want is for any lady to have any sort of issues wearing pants that tight, especially when their body has, uh, has of a particular contour and shape. I mean, not every lady should be wearing pants those tight, you know what I mean? The last thing we want is, um, for people to see something that we don't want to see, you know? Um, the last thing you want is for things to start bulging out and hanging out when they really shouldn't be. As Annabella gives us another wink as she turns around. This one's a bit more of a conventional one. A conventional outfit. She's got a little bit more, um... She's trying to be a bit more discreet about um, what she's showing off, and I can understand why, guys. You know, after showing something that really did give us a bit more of a look as to what she's featuring from the back, she's kind of giving us something that's a bit more, you know, I guess... We could call this more conservative than we would expect, especially for the nature of Annabelle's content, or Annabea's content as you may call it, as she blows us a kiss, and I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other places that would prefer for her to blow us a kiss. Something tells me that, you know, her top is having a hard time staying on, it's being stretched to its limits, you know what I mean? And I have this feeling that this particular lady is from the lovely nation of Colombia, so the thing you have to understand with the Colombian ladies is that they are the, they provide some of the best um, silicon-based services that, um, a woman can find and it does come it is expensive guys don't get me wrong but it's apparently worth it i mean many a young colombian girls out there um for their sweet 16 instead of having a party they just ask their parents if they can get work done can you believe that i sure can't and i can understand why colombia used to be one of the happiest countries in the world and still might be one of the happiest countries in the world because when you've got ladies walking around with perfectly contoured and perfectly shaped assets there's no reason why you shouldn't be happy you know it makes sense guys Sometimes it's the simple things in life that makes things, or makes us look at things a lot more differently. As she puts on a third pair of shorts. Now I have a feeling, guys. I'm not a betting man. I am a betting man, you could say that. But um, she's gonna have some difficulty wearing this on, and it really does, it really does hurt me to see her, you know, trying her hardest to put something on when, um, or you know, clothing of that nature. As she slowly tries to put her foot, um, her legs in, and again she's definitely trying her hardest to kind of work those shorts up. And again, I'm just. I wish I could have been there to oil her up, you know, make sure her body's nice and silky smooth, you know, and I would have been there to make sure that I could help her not only from the front but from the back as she slowly adjusts those, um, those shorts all the way up. She's definitely doing that hip thrust just to kind of get it in and I'm pretty sure if we were there we'd definitely be able to get in, you know, just help her out because I'm nothing if not a philanthropist, especially in a situation like this, guys, in a situation where this lady over here is really trying her hardest to you know, show off what um, all the talent and all the hard work that she's put in, you know, and the last thing you want is for her to be held back by a pair of shorts like that. And I, if I personally believe that she shouldn't be wearing anything at all, you know, because I believe that she's really doing herself a disservice because she should actually be about, allowed to be able to show us everything that she's got on offer. And I'm definitely liking these pants. These are probably my most favorite um, shorts that she's um, tried all for most of the video. Now, obviously, she does have a couple more, maybe one or two more. And I know I'm probably speaking way too soon, but I'm always a fan of the way that um, Annabella dances, and that's very common with South American girls, as they really do love uh, moving their hips and, you know, swaying side to side. As Annabella tries to hold on to the hat, um, her cowgirl hat, you know, kind of giving you that inviting look, asking you, well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm pretty sure that, like many men out there, we're, our imaginations are running wild right now, and um, we probably want to, you know, try out various positions and various, you know, angles and various type of methodologies that are in line with our philosophy, you know, about life and about, you know, how we should apply ourselves, especially when um, we're trying to assist or help a lady out like Annabella, who's just trying to be a role model to all these young ladies out there, you know? And the cameraman doing an amazing job with that um, mirror catching quite a rear angle over there, and I'm, that's something that I can definitely get behind, guys, and I'm pretty sure there's plenty of men out there who definitely get behind that as well. As Annabella, or Annabella, or Annabella, however you want to say it, um, tries on her fourth shorts, the fourth pair, and um, we're about to find out if the fourth one is the best one out of them all, as again she's having trouble and really it just makes me grimace in pain guys, watching her having to do that to herself, you know, I would have, I would really want to be there and help her, you know, just give her the, give her the hand, like you know, give her a hand, or give my, you know, two hands, you know, making sure that I'm getting a handful in there and just really pulling it up nice and slow, you know, just jerking it up, up and down nice and gently, you know, just making my way into there and just wedging it in. And I can say that I'm just as much of a fan of this particular shorts that she's got on as I was the last one, as it really does look amazing, you know. And she, again, she's got that very mischievous look in her eye 
an inviting look asking you what are you going to do and i'm pretty sure that most of you guys by now if you haven't already have already done some research to figure out what uh, annabelle has got on in terms of her um of content and i'm pretty sure that you won't be disappointed i haven't had a look yet guys but uh, being the researcher that i am i may end up having a look and that particular outfit does come off so that's really good guys because there's nothing like you know having a situation where you're having a hard time you know helping her remove things especially when you really need to get into the heat of the moment you know and those straps on the side would enable you to kind of get access and get into the thick of things as they will you know to really get a good examination of those lips as they would say I'm not talking about just those lips upstairs. I'm talking about the lips downstairs as well, guys. You know? So, see Annabella slowly dancing, shimmying along, moving those hips um, side to side. As she does pose again, does a twirl, turns around, gives us a good look at what's going on, not only from the front, but from the back. And I know that, like, just like many of you guys out there, um, I'm also a fan of, um, you know, the cowgirl type of theme that she's got going on because I can tell you, in life, um, some of the most amazing things in life can uh, definitely come from a matter of perspective, but I can tell you guys um, from experience and to all those guys out there that the cowgirl and the verse cowgirl definitely are amazing um, positions to take because they definitely do make you look at life in a different way, guys, in a different angle. And depending on the type of person you're with and, you know, the amount of, um, you know, oil that you um, apply, you can definitely see the glistening and also the readily available nature of the waves that you'd make from those angles as well, guys. So that was that... Um, what well, looks like we're, um, we've got a video that's nearly coming to the end with uh, Miss Miss Gaiano or Gelano as she slowly does that cutaway scene. But that was that particular video, guys, and I hope that I made it up to you for um, making you guys, you know, go through all those, um, go through that last um, video in my role model series. I didn't think that that was going to happen, but I hope that you know you can find it in your heart to forgive me for this, guys. And um, you can see Annabella now slowly riding on top of that cowgirl outfit as she's simulating something that um i was just talking about a couple of minutes ago and she really seems to be enjoying herself guys so if you found that um riveting or you know very informative then by all means guys you know she's definitely got an OF account um out there you know to help you strengthen your forearms and your wrists if you really need and also um release you know um whatever you need to guys and also you know uh, to it, she i believe this is a lady that can also help you with um you know blue balls if you've got that if you're suffering from that illness guys so by all means, guys, um, thank you, and I hope you can find in your heart to forgive you, forgive me for what I did in the last video. Uh, this is a call for commentary, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care, peace.